The vigil was held just a short time ago in Manitowoc, where people took time to mourn the death of Floyd and question what they can do to stop racism. Lieutenant Jason Zimmerman spoke to organizers who say it's a problem every community must address. We've seen events like this in many bigger cities, but now smaller communities like Manitowoc are stepping up to address issues of racism and police brutality in light of what happened with George Floyd, knowing there is no such thing as an exemption. We cannot breathe. On the steps of City Hall, hundreds of people gathered for a vigil, many holding signs and others wearing shirts demanding change. There are people who do not feel like they are equal citizens to, to others, and that's wrong. And as leaders, um, I need to be out here to support each and every one of my citizens, no matter, their, no matter their color, no matter their gender, no matter their love. The event also included the reading of several names to highlight those who've died in police custody. This is an opportunity for people to see how multi-generational oppression uh, of African Americans oh, okay. and how we're viewed in society um, kind of rears its ugly head. Just hours earlier, charges were filed against the remaining three police officers who didn't step in to assist Floyd. Organizers applauded that decision. When there's injustice somewhere, there's injustice right here. And we have our own problems. We don't get magnified like the big cities, but we need to be able to say that as America, we need to say no to hatred. We need to say no to racism. We need to say no to white supremacy. We need to say yes to every citizen. To let them know they're here, they're heard. As you can see, this is mostly a white crowd, but many people out here tell me it is important for them too to speak up and acknowledge that this is an issue in support of Floyd. Reporting in Manitowoc, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News. Also happening in Ashwaubenon tonight, Stars Barber.